Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, I'm Orlando Murphy and we are New Home Quality Control. We're a new build snag and inspection company and we cover Scotland, England and Wales for new build snag and inspections. Now, this video has been a long time coming. You've asked for it and I'm going to provide. I'm going to be ranking 20 of the UK's developers and giving my personal thoughts and opinions on them. So before we get started, I want you to hit that subscribe button and I want you to hit that like button. I'll wait. Right, should be done by now. Right, let's get straight into the video. Right then guys, so let's get straight into it. These are going to be my opinions based on the inspections that I've done, from what I've seen, and from what I've heard from our inspectors across the UK. Don't forget that I also cover the UK myself as well. I do inspections in Scotland, England and Wales. So um, yeah, I've got a vast knowledge on these developers and, you know, across the board as well, across the whole of the UK. So um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Um, obviously, God tier, they're going to be, you know, the best of the best. Um, good will be that they're, you know, pretty consistent and, you know, pretty good most of the time. 50-50 means that, you know, it could, I could turn up and it could be really bad or it could be really good. You know, if that's what 50-50 is, just not consistent. Poor, that means that they're consistently poor and not for me. You know, I wouldn't buy one myself. And um, when I go to these inspections, these uh, developers... I'm usually dreading, dreading the day, um, not looking forward to it at all. So starting off with Kala, um, I would put them in the good tier. So pretty consistent, actually. I wouldn't say that they're, you know, 100% consistent and god tier. No way. I've definitely seen some bad ones. But um, on average, they can go in the good tier. Um, one thing I do want to say before I get started, it doesn't matter who the developers are, really. They all build good and bad properties, right? But, you know, I'm going to base this on averages and what I, you know, generally see on a day-to-day -day basis. But, um, you know, any one of these developers are able and capable of building a good property. This isn't a guarantee that you're going to have a bad property. This isn't a guarantee that you're going to have a good property. But, you know, this is just based on what I've seen and, you know, on average, um, what you can ex expect, really. Now, Simon Holmes. Um, right, well, we all know where they're going to go. And it's not there. Now, for me, they're going to go in poor. Now, you know, if you asked me two years ago, I would have put them in not for me. But I definitely have seen an improvement over the last two years. But they're still pretty inconsistent. And the majority of properties that I do see are pretty poor with quite a lot of issues. So, you know, keep going, keep improving. And, you know, you will hit um, those next tiers. But um, at the moment, guys, I'm sorry. But it's pretty inconsistent and pretty poor at the moment. So that's where you're going. Right then, Avant Homes. Well, they could go there, but there are worse developers, which kind of make it unfair for Avant. So I would say Avant can go in poor um, and just below Persimmon. So, you know, when I hear that I've got an Avant um, Homes uh, inspection, um, I don't look forward to it. Um, I'm expecting to find a lot of issues. Um, not really serious issues, but usually a lot of finishing, a lot of decorative, a lot of cosmetic issues, a lot of damage, a lot of, um, general lack of attention to detail. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, pretty inconsistent, pretty poor, and I'm sorry, but, you know, you've got a long way to go to, you know, get up to these higher tiers. Um, I'm sorry, but it just is what it is. So, Gleason Holmes, um, next, not for me. Um, I absolutely dread it when I hear that I've got a Gleason Homes inspection. Um, I would say that I can't remember ever inspecting a good one. I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Yeah, not for me. There's not much more I can say on it, honestly. A lot, a lot of improvement needed. Honestly, long way to go. Hopkin Homes, let's go. I haven't inspected a great amount of Hopkin Homes. But the ones that I have inspected, I would say they would be at the lower end of good. So I can't put them at the high end of good. I know we've got a lot of companies, uh, a lot of these developers will be going into good. So Hopkin Homes, from what I've seen, pretty good, pretty consistent. I have seen a couple of, you know, not great ones. But I would say from, what, from memory, the inspections have been pretty good. And when I hear that I've got a Hopkin Homes uh, inspection... I'm not dreading it. I'm thinking today might be a good day. So 
they're going to go in the good tier for now. We'll look, we'll look at this tier list um, at the end, and we might move a couple of these companies around, okay? So, keep moat. I am sorry, but um, yeah, if you want to talk about dread in an inspection, I would say between keep moat and Gleason's, it's neck and neck, really. I would say keep moat slightly edges it. If I hear that I've got a keep mode inspection, I dread it. I, I pretty much know that I'm going to find a load of issues. I don't think I've ever inspected a good one. And if I have, it would have been about one out of um, a couple of hundred that I've inspected. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. What can I say? You need to improve, honestly. Yeah, I'm sorry. There's not much more I can say. Right then, red roll. Good straight into the good tier now i wouldn't you know they almost go into god tier um i would say they would be at the top of good um they're almost in god tier but i definitely you know you're paying a lot of money for a red row property it bloody well should be in good tier right so seeing that i've seen a bad a few bad red row properties how can i put them in god tier especially for the amount of money that you're paying i just can't do it if i see more consistency Yes, next year we'll put them in God tier. But for now, they're not consistent enough to go into God tier. But when I hear that I've got a red row property, I'm over the moon. I'm going, yes, today's going to be a great day. I don't think I'm going to find any serious issues. Maybe um, a load of cosmetic issues, but um, great, gr a great developer. Right then, next, David Wilson Holmes, straight into God tier. From the inspections that I've been to, yeah. I thoroughly uh, look forward to my inspection. On average, I would say, I, I yes, I have definitely seen a couple that aren't great. Yes, you still need to have an inspection because yours might be the 1% where you might have to have brickwork knocked down. You might have damage in your loft. Um, but um, all in all, David Wilson's pretty good developer. And uh, yeah, you're going in the God tier list. Well done. Good work. Right then, next is Story Homes. Where am I going to put you? Because if you asked me last year, Story Homes would have been pretty much at the top of good tier, right? They would have been there. But recently, I've been inspecting a few more developments um, in the north of England, and they just haven't been great. Almost to the point that they might have to go into 50-50. So what 50-50 means is, I don't know, I might turn up and it might be great. I might turn up and it might be bad. And um, at the moment, I'm not sure what I'm going to expect when I get to st a Story Homes property. I don't, you know, dread inspecting one, but um, definitely for me, I would say they're at the top. They're almost at good tier. They are definitely at the top of the 50-50s. Yeah, a little bit of improvement, please. The consistency across your sites just isn't there. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, they are a good developer. Don't get me wrong. They're a good developer. And are we seeing a lot of serious issues at these properties? Definitely not. Mainly cosmetic and decorating, but um, yeah. I'm sorry, that's where they're going to have to go for now. Right then, Taylor Wimpy, straight into the good tier. And I would say we're going to put them just below Red Row. Why is Taylor Wimpy in the good tier? For the price that you're paying, on average, Taylor Wimpy properties, 8 or 9 out of 10, are really really good and you're paying a hell of a lot less than you are for a red row or a david wilson's surely that means they automatically get to go into the good tier and if you disagree well that's that's your that's your opinion but um for me the vast amount of taylor wimpy properties that i inspect are great and they're like a they're like a budget developer they're like a mid-range to budget uh, developer you're not paying a massive amount of money for what you get Right at the top of uh, the good tier, I would say. Next, countryside. Well, if you ask me countryside, you know, uh, last year or the year before, they would have been in God tier. But at the moment, they're in the 50-50s, I'm afraid. I have no idea if it's going to be a good day or a bad day with countryside at the moment. When, when I first started inspecting them, they were great. And then one day, the one of the worst houses that I've ever seen was a countryside property. And... Um, yeah, it was absolutely shocking. The uh, the boiler was leaking everywhere. The um, the the attention to detail. It was like they didn't care at all. I have been to a couple of sites recently, and they have been pretty good. 
so that you know all i can hope for is that they're you know pushing to um improve on their quality and consistency and uh, maybe next year they can get back into that good tier or maybe the god tier but at the moment 50 50s and um not a bad developer but you never know what you're gonna get if i'm honest right then blow homes you're going straight to number one. They are my favorite developer without a doubt this year. They are absolutely smashing it. I can't, if, if it's a blow home site, I can't wait to inspect it because I know that my day is gonna be great. I'm not gonna have to make a massive report and it's gonna be an easy day. The, the client's gonna be happy. I'm gonna be happy. The developer's gonna be happy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, keep it up. Great, great properties. Yes, still get an inspection because you never know. It's site specific. It can be house specific. You could have a row of properties um, on a development and uh, one property could be great and next doors could be absolutely shocking. You never know what you're going to get. But with Blow Homes, on average, the properties that I've inspected have been pretty good. I, I would buy one. I would definitely buy a Blow Homes property. I would do my homework on the site, but I would definitely buy one. I think that's uh I think that said it all really, didn't it? Right then, next is Bovis. Where are we gonna put you? Because one of the worst properties that I ever inspected was a Bovis. However, recent times I have seen a lot of good uh, Bovis properties. Where should I put you? Do you go at the top of 50-50? Or do you go at the bottom of good? I would say that I'm gonna put you at the top of 50-50, because I haven't seen enough properties to say in my opinion that you deserve good tier right so i would say they're definitely in between the two um they're a good developer definitely get an inspection but yeah for the amount you pay and for the average quality that i've seen not not a bad developer definitely get an inspection and yeah i'm not i'm not dreading my day when i hear it's a bovis so um not a bad developer i would say average right then Cress nicholson I would say I've seen quite a few of these properties and they haven't been too bad if I'm honest. Usually pretty well finished. I would say I have seen a couple of not great ones though. So at the end of good tier, I would say. Not a bad developer. Definitely get an inspection, but um, I would put them at the end of good tier. Linden Holmes, where am I going to put you? Because yeah, again, I have seen some bad ones, but I've seen some good ones. You know, there's two sites that I inspected recently, which I was like, I would buy, I would happily buy a property on this development. So where am I going to put Linden Homes? Do you go at the end of good? I've seen some really bad ones though. Where do I put them? I think, is it 50-50? I don't know what I'm going to get. It could be good. It could be bad. Yeah, I would say so for now, for now. You're at 50-50, but you're at the high end. You're almost in the good tier. If you're in the middle, average, it's not bad, okay? I'm not saying you're a bad developer. I'm just saying that maybe the consistency just isn't there. Yeah, let's, let's come back to it next year. And if I see that Linden Homes are consistently good, you will be put up, okay? We'll come back to this next year, and we'll, we'll see where um, you are, okay? But yeah. Linden Homes, not a bad developer. I would definitely get an inspection. I definitely don't dread it when I hear that um, I'm going to be inspecting one of their properties. So, um, yeah, not a bad developer. You're going to be at the top of 50-50. Miller Homes. Oh, God. Yet again, I feel like we need an, a new tier between good and 50-50. Because, Miller, where am I going to put you? I'd have to say at the bottom. What to do? I would say you're going at the bottom of good. Good all round developer. I don't worry about inspecting the properties. Yeah, I would say on average, pretty consistent. Definitely not the best developer I've ever been to. Oh, I think, that I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm changing my mind. You're going to the top of 50-50. You're almost in good. If I see that you're more consistent over the next year and standards, you know, stay the same and are pretty good, you will go up to God tier, uh, good tier next next year, okay? Keep it up, and next year you'll be in the good tier. Not a bad developer, but I definitely recommend getting an inspection. Right then, St. Modwens, that's easy for me. They are between 50-50 and poor, especially in Wales. The St. Modwens developments that I've been to in Wales really, really haven't been good. A lot of improvement required. I'm not sure if it's going to be a good one or a bad one. Yeah, inconsistent i won't say they're a bad developer but um, i would say they're pretty inconsistent 50 50 straight in nothing much more to say on that 
Barrett Holmes. They used to be so good. Where do I put Barrett Holmes? I think they're going to have to go in 50-50. I think they're going to have to be at the top of 50-50. They almost get into good tier. And I know they're the same. They're pretty much the same company as David Wilson's, right? But the difference is massive. The difference is absolutely massive. David Wilson's, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to have a good inspection. Barrett, it's 50-50. They, they almost could be at the bottom of the good tier, though. What to do, what to do. Um... We're going 50-50. If I see improvement over the next year and it's consistent, next year you will be in the good tier. Okay? You you're not you're not consistent. And this this 50-50 is all about consistency. Barrett, they're inconsistent. Miller Holmes, inconsistent. Linden, inconsistent. These developers are way, way more consistent than these. From the inspections that I've seen. And yet again, this, this video is basically on my opinion and from what I've seen. So, um, yeah, Barrett Holmes, you're almost there. Bit of improvement required. Please improve your consistency. Right then, level Holmes. Yet another tough one. I would say they've got to go in 50-50 because they're not consistent. And I would say they're about in the middle. I think that's a good place. Linden Holmes and level Holmes are pretty much the same, I would say. Neck and neck. You're not sure what you're going to have. But on average, they're pretty good. They just need to improve on their consistency. And Belloway. Wow, um, Belloway definitely going into 50-50. When I inspected Belloway property, it might be amazing or it might be absolutely shocking. I'm serious. And for the amount of money that you pay with a Belloway property, you should be expecting it to be in the good or God tier. It's, it's, there's no reason for the amount of money that you pay for it to not be good quality and a good standard. So there is no way it's going in these. It's definitely going to have to go below uh, Barrett's. And I would say it's actually below, I would say it's about here. 50-50, inconsistent. Some developments are very good. Some developments just, it's like, is this the same developer? Or what, what's going on? How have they signed off properties on this development where it's amazing and signed off other properties where it's just absolutely shocking? I'm sorry, but 50-50, um, a lot of improvement required, really, especially on those bad developments. I definitely suggest that you get them inspected. What else can I say? I kind of dread having a Belloway uh, inspection because I'm expecting it to be pretty poor. And when I see that it's good, it's a surprise. That tells me I think that's the perfect position. Could they go a bit lower? When it's good, it's really good. And when it's bad, it's really bad. But what about Linden Homes? The issues on the Linden homes are never as bad as the bad Belloways. Good point. Okay, and what about the level homes? Level homes are neck and neck with that. Okay, let's go through this tier, tier list. So right at the top is Blow Homes. By far the best developer in the UK right now. Then it's David Wilson's. Then it's Red Row. You're spending a lot of money on a Red Row. So it, it bloody should be good, like I said before. But yeah, they're almost in God tier. Taylor Wimpy, for the amount you pay, they've got to be up there. Really consistent, good company. Carla Holmes, consistent. Hopkin Holmes, yep. Yeah. Happy with that. Cress Nicholson, yep. Yeah. Barrett, yep. Yeah. Then we got Miller, Lovell Holmes, Linden Holmes, Bellways, Bovis, Story Holmes. Oh, yeah, these 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 three are pretty much neck and neck. We want to see a lot of lot of improvement with your consistency in these developers. Countryside Homes, yeah. St. Modwins, yeah. Simon Homes, Avant Homes, Gleason Homes, keep them up. That, that is it. That is my uh, UK tier list for 20 of the UK's developers. Tell me what you think of the video. See, tell me if you agree or disagree. Um, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Um, and yeah, we'll come back to this maybe in six months time. Maybe we'll come back in um, a year's time. And, you know, hopefully we can move all these developers up to the god tier. I would love nothing more than to say all these developers are great and my reports are easy to write up and um, I have a great day every day. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. That's my ranking of 20 of the UK's developers. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you later. Peace.